what's going on y'all so this video right here is gonna be the man bun a man bun tutorial and we're gonna start off with the zero on the sides with the lever closed with that wall magic cordless clippers and right there in the front I'm gonna do about a half just so I can keep the sideburn a little darker and this man bun is high in demand a lot of a lot of clients are asking for this um, they'll do a braid on top now it, it's a real hot style right now so I decided to go ahead and do this video and I did do a freestyle design on one of the sides of his head but my camera battery ran out and I didn't catch me detailing the lines but I do a rough draft in this video and then at the end I'll just show you the picture but basically what I did is I just thickened the lines so you see on the tutorial here you'll see me do the rough line and then I just went back with the razor and thickened some of the lines and did it and cleaned it out with the razor so I do apologize but I didn't want to I didn't want to not upload this video so all right so from the zero I just started opening my lever from the middle to open and right here this is the one guard and we're just gonna go as high as as a one and a half to the top of the the section of the man bun so right here I opened up the lever and this hair is really coarse so even with a zero on the sides you can still see sideburn I apologize if you hear the cars in the background I am outside doing this video outside of the shop doing the, the the voiceover but right here I'm just gonna take the one and a half to the top make sure you don't nick any of the hairs that are inside the man bun and you can see that line right there and I'm just gonna knock that off with the half guard and I start my lever open and then I'll slowly just put it in the middle and then I'll close it right there I put it in the middle and guys I, I am kinda new to this whole uh, this whole camera so I am working on the lighting um, the next video that I'll be dropping um, the lighting is a little better actually a lot better I got natural lighting in the new shop now so I'm working on that all right here I'm using the Anna's GTX outliners and I'm just gonna start doing the needlepoint sideburns and I'm just keeping it natural and crispy at the same time you don't have to spend too much time doing this you're gonna go back with the razor you just this is just like a rough draft line I'm just using the corner of the blade so I could get that good detail. See, that's crazy how that's like a a quarter or close to like a zero right there in the sideburn area and it's still dark. His hair is just super coarse. I'm still able to line it up on the on the neckline so not every client has the same type of hair or te hair texture so keep that in, in consideration whenever you do your next cut right here I'm starting with the zero again keeping the front darker And again, y'all, thank you for all the support, all the feedback, all the good comments, all the bad comments. Um, I haven't really got any bad comments, just some criticism. And like I said in, in the beginning of my of me making these videos, I always accept good and bad. It keeps me going. It makes me better. And it, it also helps me um, um, make these videos and 
and kind of give what the, the, the viewers want. So I appreciate everything. I'm almost at my milestone. Um, almost at a thousand subscribers in less than three months. Um, I'm super excited, very humbled, and I just appreciate everything y'all have done and helped me with along this way. And this, like I said, this is just the beginning to a, a, a great future. I'm gonna keep these videos coming. Make sure y'all y'all smash that like button, the thumbs up, and um. Make sure y'all's notifications are turned on because every time I drop a video, you'll get a notification saying that I, I dropped a new video. I drop them once a week. So right here, this is the one guard. And again, y'all, everything that I use in these videos when it comes to the clippers, blades, um, any kind of tools that I use, my camera, everything, my lens, I put it all in the description below. And you just click on that link. And if you're interested in, in getting any of this equipment, that link will take you where to purchase it. Uh, this is my half guard, just knocking off that line. And this is the side that I'm going to do the freestyle design on. And again, I apologize, my camera died on me. This was actually a video, this video was made during back to school. And I just, I couldn't wait and charge it. I had clients back to back. Alright, let me hit the other side burn. Now if you're a right-handed barber, typically the left the left side is gonna be a little more tricky to uh, get this side burn like the other one. And right here you can see I just like lightly tapped it with the corner of the blade all the way to the the peak of it. And then I just go back and clean it up with the, the whole blade. It's kind of like a, a like a backstroke when you're doing a razor. You're just doing it like a reverse. So you can see right there. I'm just using mostly of the corner. Now I just go back and clean the excess hair off. To get that nice defined C cup. All right, and I'm just gonna ball it out the back. Um, it's already a zero on the bottom, so the the trimmer could will blend right in. You don't have to dig it, dig into the head. You just kind of just flick towards you like a C cup motion, and it'll blend right into the zero. Right there, his hair was growing a different way, so I had to turn the trimmer around because the hair wasn't cutting. And again, y'all, these these trimmers are zero gap, but to a certain a certain point, it, I could use it on kids and adults. All right, now we're gonna do the front edge. I just combed the hair down, the little baby hairs, and I believe I trimmed it with a one and a half guard, just so I could get it to lay down. And you can see where his edge is, I guess, real dark. I bring it to that point. I don't take it any further than that.
And to get that sharp corner, you you just can use like the end of your your edgers right in the corner of the blade. And then you could go back with the razor as well. Sorry, I got in the way of the camera. <laughs> it's hard to get right in front of the client without getting in front of the camera. All right, now we're gonna start the freestyle design, and I'm just using the corner of my blade with the rough draft line, and I'm gonna do more of my detail work with um, with the razor and my and this Slimline Pro Li's just to make the lines thicker and again I apologize I didn't get that done or I didn't get that footage but this is just the rough draft line right here and then I went back with the razor and it's a freestyle design it's a freestyle part so there's no wrongs there's no rights you kind of just just get in your zone and and go to work there's no wrong or right way about doing a freestyle design this is what what you express um, this is an art so have at it make those lines um, thicker than others don't just make it all one one length or one width I'm sorry you want to make some thicker some skinnier And this is a deep tooth blade on there. Um, it does cut better than the factory blade. It cuts through longer hair. All right, right here, I started to thicken the lines and then the battery died, so. This is the finished product. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for all the love. Subscribe, share, comment. Love y'all. Have a good one.